Hello, welcome to Gamegasm. I'm Bren. I'm Jay, and today we're looking at Forza 6. Uh, it's actually pronounced Forza. Italian word for power. <laughs> so, this is Forza with another number after it. Yep, six. How nice. And with this new number, have they actually improved it, or has the bitter taste of 5 left us with a fender bender? Maybe it's time for Forza to pull off into the pits and get an oil change. Care to add any more car related gumph into this intro? Nah, I don't want to tire myself out. Oh, Jesus. After the inspirational opening cutscene, you were thrown into your first race with a lot of hand holding, true Forza style. You are then introduced to the game's career mode, Stories of Motorsport, which is a lot more linear than previous entries, meaning you can't just hop straight into racing with the cars you want to, which can be a little tedious for some. Forza 6 makes up for the lack of variety in the previous entry though by offering a more respectful 20 plus locations that now include Brands Hatch, Monza and Lime Rock. The tracks are as detailed as the cars, which there are now 24 of on track, so it makes the first corner very interesting. As well as the career, there are also unlockable showcase events. These feature the return of endurance races and the Top Gear events, from the usual bowling tomfoolery to a one-on-one -on -one against the Stig. Some say he's a fan of Gamegasm, and that his head is made entirely of potted plants. Having real-life indie car drivers and Hammond and May from, uh, sorry, formerly from Top Gear, introducing classes is brilliant. Although you can tell that Jeremy Clarkson has been surgically removed. Oh well that's just unfair, can we get Jeremy for a comment? Hold on, I'll phone him. Hello? Hello Jeremy. Who is this? It's Jay from Gamegasm. Haven't you got anything better to do? Well we were just wondering what it felt like to be surgically removed from Forza 6. Well if you must know then uh... I'm very upset, and Turn 10 can quite frankly shove their game up Okay, there. thank you very much, Jeremy. Anywho, these showcase events give you a chance to preview the hypercars you'll be driving later. Speaking of cars, there are over 450 of them to choose from, and you'll be glad to hear that looking through them isn't as much of a chore as it was in Forza 5. You're now able to cycle through car manufacturers by pressing left and right, and cycle through the models by pressing up and down. All the cars look incredible and are featured in the Forza Vista mode. It's like Windows Vista, but without all the crashing. Haha, <laughs> see what you did there? A dig at Windows and another car pun. Yes, well, the Forza is strong in this one today. Get out! This mode allows you to look around the car in great detail. You can also find out some very interesting facts by playing back a recording of a woman. That has no idea how to pronounce the manufacturer's names. You can now even sit in the back of the car. Yeah! Ever wondered what it was like to sit in the back of an Audi RS6? Well, now you can. Look at that stitching. And all without a snobby salesman going on about all the space you'll have for your golf clubs. Increasing your driver level now gives you a spin of a randomised spinner, which contains nine possible prizes. These can range from a thousand in-game credits to a 1.1 million pound Veyron. If you can time it right, you may end up with an impressive looking garage fairly early on in the game, which is a welcome change to how difficult it was to get your hands on the upper tiered cars in Forza 5. A new addition to the series are these mod cards. These are given to you in packs of varying price and rarity and are split into three types, Boost, Dare and Crew. Some cards can be used as many times as you like and give you stat boosts like plus 12% grip or minus 5% weight, plus extra boosts on certain tracks. Dare cards offer a credit reward for completing race objectives under set circumstances, such as forced cockpit cam or no assists. Other cards are single use, like a two grid position starting boost for one race. The game's biggest addition is probably the wet weather driving and there is no denying that it's visually and physically impressive. From the cockpit view you can see the water droplets streaking up the windscreen, sloshing under the wiper blades and tracing left or right with cornering forces. I can't believe that I'm this fascinated by rain. There are also puddles of standing water all around the track to watch out for too. Hit one of these with one side of your car at speed and it's going to try to drag you off track as that side slows from the drag of the water. 
Night racing also looks great. Some tracks have no artificial lighting, so you have to rely on your car's headlights to see where you're going, which can be quite unnerving when you're speeding along at 200 miles an hour, especially when a corner appears out of the dark. Oh no! Unlike Forza Horizon 2, however, the weather and lighting aren't dynamic, so it can get a little samey. But Turn 10's attention to detail is everywhere in this game. From the cosmetic damage right down to the dirt and dust that cover your car if you spend too much time doing a bit of off-roading. The cars sound as good as they look too, especially when going under bridges and through tunnels. It's a proper windows down moment. However, there is a real lack of soundtrack. Instead of the electro awesomeness from Forza 3 and 4, we're treated to the epic over the top orchestral score from 5. I know a lot of Forza veterans turn the music off anyway just to listen to the sound of the engine, but in my opinion a racing game needs a good soundtrack, and still to this day nothing has topped the musical offering from Dirt 2. Overall, Forza Motorsport 6 is a marked improvement on 5, earning it a gamegasm 8.3, let down only by the linear career mode and the lack of soundtrack. Perfect if you're into your straight driving sims, but if you're more of a casual racer, you're better off sticking with Forza Horizon 2. So strap in, rev up and bury the pedal in the carpet for some high octane action that is definitely in pole position in the gaming world. Will you stop with the car analogies? Looks like Jay's applied the brakes to this outro. Give me strength. And that was Forza 6. What a fantastic racing game. Did you enjoy it, Jay? I did, and I thought it was massively better than Forza 5. Yeah, what, I mean, what was with Forza 5? I mean, it, to me, it felt kind of empty and barren. Maybe it was rushed out to coincide mm. with the uh, release of the Xbox One. Maybe, but they did manage to get it to go at 60 frames per second. Yeah, interestingly enough, so does uh, Forza 6. Even with 24 cars on track and the beautiful weather, it runs mm -hmm. at 1080p in a constant 60 frames per second. And isn't that rain fantastic? Oh, it's brilliant. It's so stupid. It's just like, oh my god, water that actually moves up the screen. <laughs> You'd almost think we didn't get rain in this country. Uh-huh. <laughs> Understatement of the year. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that was four to six. So we hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, don't forget to click on the old like button. And of course, leave us your thoughts in the comments below because we love hearing from you and we like to know what you think of the games as well. So that's all the time we've got for today. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I've been Bren. I've been Jay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> and we've been Gamegasm. Gamegasm. <laughs>I'm Bren. I'm Jay. And uh, what are we looking at today, Jay? <laughs> we'll start again. I was waiting for you to do the clap for the audio Oh, All right, okay. Hello, welcome to Gamegasm. I'm Bren. I'm Jay. And, and what are we looking at today, Jay? <laughs> 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 Hello, welcome to Gamegasm. I'm Bren. I'm Jay. And today we'll be looking at Forza 6. It's actually pronounced Forza, you uncouth moron. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a bit harsh. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Gamegasm, I'm Bren. I'm Jay, and today we're looking at Forza 6. I said Forza. <laughs> Italian for power, don't you? <laughs> That's fine! <fine. laughs> Hello, welcome to Gamegasm, I'm Bren. I'm Jay. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs>